Hello everyone, this is Casey from iSugar. Today, I would like to show you a tutorial about how to work with a C2X3 camera. After you shoot your video with GoPro, we copy the file to a folder. Usually, I will change the file name from the horizontal cam, starting with letter A, the other one with letter B, so it, they can work much better with template. Anyway, we drag the files to the AVP. For the first step, we do the synchronization by clicking this button. Usually the audio sync will do. After the points was traced, we click the apply button. And we go to the stitching tab. Ah, you see, my body was too close to the camera, which may not be good for stitching. So we move on to some other point along the timeline. So I'm getting further away from the camera. This one is good. And we click the drop down button to pick the right lenses and hit the stitch button. It may take us a while, but you can speed it up by closing this window. Oh, it's almost done, but not quite well with the branding. So we Click the edit button, it will open up the auto panel giga. So you can see there's some nasty branding appearing here because the color software was not able to trace the circular crop in a well manner. So at the layer tab, there's a button called the image properties. Click on it and on the second tab, there's a circular crop option. You see? Corp was offset a little bit, so we drag it back to the normal range. A little bit more, okay. And do the same thing to the other window. Ah, this group is okay. We click the OK button again. The seams are getting better, but the point was slightly off, so we do the optimization again by clicking this button. When you click the brand, the seams were gone. Now the orientation is not right. So we try to click rotate a little bit. Uh, maybe we try moving it, changing the pitch, minus 90. Or you drag it a little bit more. You have some important scene you may want to make it show on some prominent area. So it's okay. When the stitch is done and the orientation is okay, we work with the color. Usually I will pick the auto button and select the view with important images as an anchor. We leave this open. Another wheel, it depends on the color, you can adjust for the exposure and the color at the same time. But for this one, the exposure is okay. When I click the blend again, it's okay, but not quite sharp. In the, uh, this is a noon time, so the color is not quite good. So we may want to check this button. Inside the gamma tab, there's a setting. When we check the enhanced per channel contrast, you will see the contrast of the, these rocks are getting much better. So when you're happy with that, you click the save button and jumping back to the AVP. Your work is good to go. Thanks for watching.